All right, hey guys, it's ACD again back here with another video, and today we pretty much have the JBL Party Box uh, 300, which is the original version, not the 310, not the 320, and this is going to be basically paired up with the JBL Base Pro 12, which is a 150 watt subwoofer. It says 450 watts peak, but you know it's just 150 watts RMS, and pretty much I'm going to show you exactly how I did this, and pretty much this is like something that I've seen, and I had to just you know try it out for myself. So if we're going to back of this, you can actually go see that it's actually it is on. So here's a little. Let's see if I can see this. Here's a little um the base uh, controller for this, which you got minimum. You have max. I currently have it on minimum. And if you go back here, I have this hooked up via RCA. So I got this off of Amazon Basics. Put it up right there to the RCA cable when I output. So you can see that. So this is the input, the other one's the output. But currently how I have that paired up to it is this little guy right here is actually a power source. So this is powering this subwoofer. And you may be looking at this and I'm like, oh, how, how could this possibly be powering 150 watt um, subwoofer? And if you look on the bottom of it, you can see exactly where it runs at. So anybody that's, that wants to know wants to do this for themselves, which is a car subwoofer, you see that the output is DC 12 volts, and that's exactly what this, um, what it needs. When it's green, that means it's good. Orange, standby, and red, something's not correct connected right. So, since I got it from here, this is pretty much simple. So I'm gonna run it down for you guys. Once we come to the back of here, you can see that there is the red and blue cable. Now, I already know I don't have electrical tape on this. Currently, I don't have none right now, but hey, so be it works. So, you had a red and blue cable that comes out of that. You want to strip this apart. <clears throat> and if you do have electrical tape, be professional and actually, like, you know, make sure that's safe and wrapped up tidy. So, that's for the blue cable is your remote wire, and the red cable is one of your power wires. And then I have a, you're going to need an um, additional piece of wire. So, therefore, it's going to run from the remote turn on to the power. The two yellow cables coming from around here, I pretty much just wrap those together. I put those in the 12 volt. Then you have the remote wire, like I told you before, remote turn on. And then the last one is pretty much the black. So it has two black wires and then it has a gray wire. You need those two, uh, all three of those connected together inside of the, um, the ground. So once you have all that, this status should turn green once you plug it in to the outlet. If it's turning red, that pretty much means that the gray wire is not connected. I had some little bit of trouble with doing this, so once I did it, it worked. So, if I turn this off, turn the flash off. If I can turn the flash off. Okay, I can turn the flash off. There we go. If I bring the uh, microphone up close to it, you should be able to hear the fan that's inside of here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not. But yeah, it pretty much has a fan in the inside of it, so therefore it stays cool. And yeah, we're gonna play a song by NCS, and this is not no copyright, and this is Domino's Gravity. So therefore, you guys can hear how the sounds. Keep in mind, I'm using my phone. I don't, I have my microphone, but I don't have the um, piece for it to connect it to it. So therefore, you get like you know, um, 360 degree audio. But here we go.
But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. And this will not get that hot, so don't worry about that. It had a lot of rumors about, oh, well, um, you can't leave it on for a long period of time. You can leave it on for a long period of time. I did it with my other um, subwoofer, which is pretty much a, if I can remember, um, I don't think I know, it's a 650 watt um, subwoofer pretty much. And it runs perfectly, it doesn't overheat. As you can see, this is a um, all-in-one subwoofer, so I can't really show you in the back. But it pretty much, you can see my hand, it has like a, um, I don't know what you really want to call it, but it keeps it cool pretty much. So you don't have to worry about that overheating either. So it has its own fan, it has its own thing to keep it cool. And yeah, so therefore if you want that low end base, and you have a subwoofer, and you have a Xbox 360, or you have Xbox One, or any one of those Xbox, and you have a power supply, I would suggest don't do that to that uh, to that flowers but I don't use my 360 so I really don't care about it. I can easily get another one. They're pretty cheap. They're like twenty dollars. Um, you can do that. The only thing you gotta do is buy it. Like go go on Amazon and you could just. You don't want to take the back apart because the back is connected to the outlet. You do this from the front, and that's pretty much how I have that connected. Anyway, that was just a simple video on that. And if you have any other questions, just leave your comments down below. And I'll get back to you with that. If you have any songs that you want me to test out on both of these two, let me know. Alright, that's ATG. And until the next video.